Hey everyone, Leo here, and I'm going to give you a really quick tutorial on how to add uh, Kodi to your iPhone device uh, without having to jailbreak. So you'll go to the Kodi website, the link was above earlier, you can find the link in the description, um, and you're going to need to download the uh, dev file for iOS, okay? Um, once you're done downloading the dev file, you'll need to go to this link and download the iOS App Signer version 1.9. Once you're done downloading both items, you'll need to install Xcode uh, for your Mac. So this you can find in the uh, App Store. Uh, mine here shows open because I already installed it but if you're going to install for the first time it will show a green button that says install once you're do done downloading all three of those items all you need to do is plug in your iPhone or iPad and open up Xcode okay when Xcode opens up all you need to do is click on create a new Xcode project Xcode will open up. You make sure single view application is selected and hit next. Uh, in the product name, you're going to type in Kodi. Uh, this time we used version two since we already did a previous install. Uh, your team will be your own name, uh, organization name, and organization identifier. Identifier is com.nerdinitiative. So you can customize that name to whatever you want it to be. All right. And then you hit next and what it's going to do is it's going Xcode is going to create um, basically some files on your desktop so you do need to select a location or directory where to save those I know this just went a little bit too fast but once you see that prompt you'll be able to figure it out and you can save your files all right uh, in this signing area uh, you may need to log into iTunes through this area. It's perfectly safe. This is, you know, a, a developer tool, so you'll you will need to log in to get a signing certificate. Um, as you can see at the very top, it shows processing symbol files. I just moved that screen in the way, but we'll get back to that later. Uh, go ahead and open up iOS App Signer, and there's the uh, processing symbol files again. Uh, that one takes a lot of time, so you'll just have to be patient with it and let it finish. Um, the iOS App Signer is unpacking because this is the first time I'm using it. Uh, and then you just go through the prompts and just hit open. Once iOS App Signer opens up, you will need to click the Browse button and you're going to select the Kodi deb file that you downloaded earlier in the very beginning of this video okay so you just click on browse you locate your file you'll click the file and hit open your signing certificate will be what was created earlier when you signed in your provisioning profile uh, it's a drop down now if you're doing this for the first time you're gonna have only one provisioning profile here you'll see I have four of them uh, just go ahead and click the only one that exists on that list and then once you select that uh, there is an app display name at that one you're going to enter the name of the app normally you would put Kodi since this is the second time around for us doing this I'll put Kodi version 2 then you hit the start button and you're going to select the directory where you want to save the IPA file all right the Directory directory we used uh, we created the What is it the uh, Kodi? Version 2 on the desktop, so we're gonna save the IPA file on or in that folder <clears throat> So we'll select Kodi version 2 hit save then you'll hit the start button and Once you hit the start button, you'll see a bunch of messages at the bottom of app signer uh, It's basically just doing its thing. Okay, it's there's a bunch of messages that show up. Uh, we don't go through all of them. It takes a little bit of time, but what it's doing is it's basically packing up all those files that it created earlier and creating an IPA file, okay? And that's
that's what you're going to use to install Kodi onto your iPhone. All right. Uh, once it's done, you'll, you will get a message. It will tell you at the very bottom that the, uh, the app signer is done. Uh, and you'll also notice here, your processing symbol files are still in Xcode. Again, it will take some time. Uh, you are gonna have to be patient. So it looks like our app signer is done. All right, it created the IPA file. You can read the message there. And what we're going to do is, we're gonna go to back to Xcode. And from Xcode, we will go to Window and select devices. Once you select devices, you're going to see a list of devices and simulators. Uh, you will select your phone under devices. And at the top, it'll say iPhone is busy processing symbol files, which is happen what's happening at the top. Uh, you won't be able to move forward until that task is complete. So um, we can use this time real quick to just, you know, if there's anything that I missed, I can talk about. Um, but really, there isn't anything missed uh, for the most part. I have tested the Kodi on my own personal phone. I've tested it. I've installed, you know, the add-ons and stuff, and it works fairly well. Um, just the fact that it's coming from a, uh, a device, you know, from your iPhone, it may run a little slow depending on your connection, your Wi-Fi. Uh, but as far, you know, as far as I've, as long as I've been running it, it's been perfectly fine. Uh, so all we got to do now is we just got to continue to wait and see when this processing symbol files finish. Once that's done, we're going to go move to the next step and actually install the application to the phone. Alright, so this is taking a really long time uh, to process the symbol file, so let's go ahead and just speed up this video just a bit so we can get past this and move on to the next step, which is to install the Kodi app to your phone. All right. Once everything is done, as far as processing the symbol files, you'll go to the installed app section uh, on the left, on the right hand window pane, and you'll hit the plus sign. Okay, you'll locate the IPA file that you saved. You'll click that and hit open, and it's going to install. Once it's done installing, uh, at the very top you'll notice uh, of Xcode it says uh, processing files. Once it's done with that task, you're going to see under installed apps, uh, Kodi. You'll see Kodi installed there. <clears throat> so it'll just pop up randomly. Uh, there it is, there's Kodi. And you can just go ahead and once that's done, close out your, your Xcode windows. You can close everything out. Uh, unplug your phone and you'll notice that the Kodi application is now on your phone. 